My name is Jim Swartz. I am the mayor of Freeport Borough. I've been mayor since October of 2009. The most exciting change uh, was back in 1964 when they did put the community park in, put the swimming pool in, uh, the basketball courts, the firemen would always freeze it throughout the winter, and that's where we did our ice skating. Uh, over where the old golf course is today, that used to be a ski slope, so we always went over there to either toboggan or ski. Mostly we did the tobogganing and uh, they had a little train that ran around the park, uh, about a two mile route that went the whole way around, had a tunnel you went through, and the train uh, station was over by where the soccer fields are now, and you would pay a quarter and get on the train, and and uh, then it's my understanding someone got hurt getting on or off the train, and was a lawsuit, so he took the train out. Uh, they have tennis courts up there, uh, baseball fields. A lot of ba they've added a lot of baseball fields since I was growing up. When I was growing up, they had uh, two little league fields and a senior little league field. Now they have uh, girls softball fields, t-ball fields. So they probably have probably eight different fields up there now that utilize for the baseball program and softball program. And they have Lobby Hall up there, which was built in 1964. Uh, and that's usually rented out mostly every weekend. It's a very nice uh, place to have weddings and uh, banquets. So uh, other than that, I mean, that was, a, that was a big accomplishment when that park, I mean, that got a lot of, because we used to, when I was growing up, we swam in the river. You know, there used to be a beach down there. There was an old beach house where we would go and change your clothes and that. And you now whenever the, the pool opened, I think it opened in 64, 65. And uh, uh, sadly, it's closed now. I mean, needs a complete overhaul. And you're probably talking a million, million and a half to do that. And we just, nobody has the funds to do it. Be nice if I hit the lotto, I'd, I'd put the pool back in for them. <laughs> Some of my favorite memories is when I was growing up the downtown area. I mean, it had, uh, that was before the malls came, and uh, you had all kind of unique little shops. You know, we had a shoe shop, a jewelry store, a state store, a couple barber shops, a few meat markets, grocery store clothing store. We had the longest uh, John H. Shoop clothing, I think was uh, 1831. It was established and that was uh, the oldest uh, clothing store in the United States. And he just shut down probably 10 or 11, 12 years ago because of his health. And uh, just to look back when I was a, a child, I kind of wished I would have went around town and took pictures of the town back then of what it looked like then and what it looks like now. I mean, you, you had everything. Hardware store, uh, Ben Franklin 5 and 10 when I was in high school in the late 60s. I worked every evening after school with the Ben Franklin store on a Friday nights. I'd work until 9 o'clock and put a 10-hour shift in on Saturdays. They were open 9 to 9. And uh, it just so many unique shops they had back then that then the big malls came. I mean, we had appliance stores, you know, we had it all. And it's just sad to see when the big malls hit that how the town's kind of lost business. But as you see now, some of the malls aren't doing good either. So uh, 
maybe we'll revert back to the small town. And I think I think you're right. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. We're going to have more of a localized, centralized yes. you know, community again. The old shoot building has a lot of potential, but I, I think you could do a lot with that. But uh, right now, it needs a lot of a lot of repairs. It's up for sale. Mm -hmm. uh, Another old building that's quite unique is over in the Laneville section of Freeport, it, and it's the old uh, Mickey's Mill grist mill. And they used to make buckwheat there up until 1965, and uh, uh, after Mickey's Mill, it was called Valley Mills. But uh, someone just recently bought that, and uh, I haven't talked to the, the people that bought it, but uh, I don't know what they're going to do with it. It, it, is, it is a neat building. I've been through that one. At, at one time, whenever the the park owned it, and they were going to put like a, there was talk putting like a trolley down from the park down to there, you know, to take tours and that, but never came to fruition.